Hey guys, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my little planner keychain. I'm so excited. I love this. If you guys remember, I shared this little planner keychain with you guys um, on one of my Lollipop Box Club videos. Lollipop Box Club is a subscription kit that I get every month and I like to create a bunch of new things with it. And this is one of the items that I created, um, but when you guys saw the video, I didn't have a tutorial for it yet. Um, so I'm going to share that with you guys today. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, and you've been telling me that you want me to make it. So I'm going to share it with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So if you want to craft with me, feel free to do so. And if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments down below, or feel free to email me. And if you guys don't yet follow me on Instagram, definitely go check me out. Follow me on there. I share all of my creations on there. And I would love for you guys to tag me if you guys create these. That way I can see how yours came out, which I'm sure will be absolutely awesome. But let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be doing one using one of my Planner Society kits. If you guys remember, this kit was my last recent kit. And I love it so much. I got an extra sheet of these, so I thought why not make a pretty planner out of it so that's what I'm going to do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure it my planner in height and actually measures two inches and three fourths and I'm going to go ahead and measure that right now so I'm going to mark my line right there and then I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing mark my line right there so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trim this. This is my Fiskars paper trimmer and a lot of you guys have been asking me where I buy my, where I bought my pink measuring mat from and I got it from Michaels. It's by the Recollections brand. They also have it online. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, usually the way I do it is I just try to see what the, what the measurements are. And this is actually three and a half in um, width. So we're going to go ahead and measure three and a half, three and a half, and then we're going to go ahead and cut. Okay, we're going to put that to the side. And this is my little cover. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make my little scoring lines, um, which is the binding. So I'm going to go ahead and mark my lines right here. And just to show you guys, my lines are right here. So you have the two, then you have the one and a half. It's the bigger line in between both, and then the smaller lines in between those. <laughs> so if that works... And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing up top. And so this is the black side. I have to make sure it's nice and dark. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and score. I have to get my little corner rounder. I forgot to bring it. Or pull it out more, should I say. And I like to go over it like three times just to make sure everything is... Nice and even in there. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. And there we have it. Alright, so there we have it. That's what your little planner should look like at this point. So as you can see. And now we're going to go ahead and make our little um, uh, loop thing or whatever you want to call it. Our little closure and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down one inch one inch I'm using the same scrap that I had left over from this piece always try to use your little scraps it's the best way to work and this is my little closure right here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and with my bone folder, you can use a pen, a pencil, anything that has a nice little round loop to it. There we go. So that's what you have at this point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little hole 
because I want to add a little eyelet to it. Just like that, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and take my little eyelet and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Uh, we'll just go this way. And then make sure this is facing. Ooh, didn't work. So the reason why I want to add the eyelet, as you guys can see, this one was my practice one. Um, it wasn't perfected yet. I ended up making two holes, one because I had it upside down, and then two, I was like, this, if I keep using it a lot, it'll eventually break because it's paper, and by having the eyelet, it'll make the keychain more sturdy. So I think that just works a lot better. So that's what I have there. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is round your corners. So I rounded all four corners so that it looks like that. That way you give it a nice little finished look. The next thing you wanna do is add some adhesive. Make sure that you add a lot of adhesive. That way you know that it's gonna stay in place. And then, let's see. Let's do it this way. So I'm just going to put it right here, and there we go. So one thing that I did was I added a brad over here um, at the end to keep it nice and sealed because eventually what was happening is um, since I was opening and closing it a lot, um, the adhesive did lift up and so did the paper. So by adding the brad, it keeps it in place, and it looks cute because it matches and I just I like it. So there we have that. Let's round this a little bit more. And the nice thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a fastener. This is a little Velcro. And we're going to add this for our closure. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on here. There we go. you keep it sturdy down and look at how cute that is so just make sure you keep pressing down and it'll stay in place and look at how cute that is so the next thing you want to do is determine how big you want your key ring so I have these these are all from BB crafts I love them they all came together and they come in different sizes so you get like from largest to smallest as you can see I got the biggest one then the medium, then the smaller to medium, then the smaller, and then the tiny one. So depending how many keys um, you have, you can add that size of key ring that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to keep holding it, and you're going to keep pushing it through, just like that. And there you have it, right? Super, super cute. Now one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to decorate my little cover at the front just because I think it looks cute if you add something to it. It already looks nice as it is, but I'm going to add this super cute bling and it'll just make it look even better, right? So cute, look at how cute that is. All right, so now next the final steps are to add the paper um, for the inside, right? You can always decorate it, but since this is already double-sided paper, no need to decorate it anymore, but you can always decorate it if you want to. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take some blank printing paper. So what I did was I cut a strip down um, this is two inches in height and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark every three inches and you want to take as many papers as you want I do 12 sheets just because the thickness feels good um, I feel like if you do any more you're going to definitely have to separate them but I'm able to get a good amount of sheets from using this so you can always double up and you'll see what I mean So then you cut that. 
Make sure everything's nice and even because you don't want papers that are bigger and smaller. So again, the height is two inches. This is crap, I don't need that. And as you can see, I had three sections. So this was five papers total and I got three sections out of it. So now I have about 12 or so. And again, you're just gonna mark two inches, two inches, cut, one, two, three, and cut. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and fold this. Just like that. Right? So now, here's the trick. We're gonna go ahead and take our elastic. I'm gonna use this one. It looks cute. And then I need my needle pointer. Here we go, this is the one that Cynthia gave me. I love using this one. It works really good for thickness. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. You want to align it in the middle, just like that. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna poke our hole just like that. I like to go from the outside, from the cover, because then when you poke the hole, the paper goes inward. Because if you poke it outward, then it starts to look a little messy. But this way it looks cleaner. Right? So then you want to use a thin elastic. That way you're able to put it through. Keep it together. It's a, it's a process. Um, definitely it is, but I think once you get the hang of it, you'll definitely um, have fun with it and you'll, you'll love having them. So now we're going to go ahead and put it through here. I forgot this is the, this is the strip that always frays. There we go. Now we're going to put it in through here. And now we're going to put it in through here. Feel free to poke and hold again if you have to. There we go. Right? So now you're gonna go ahead and stretch your elastic. You're gonna tie. I love make. I already made five of these. I think five, yeah, I think I made five for Valentine's Day, for my Valentine's Day sale. Oh my gosh, and they came out so cute. And I was like, why didn't I make myself a Valentine's Day one? <laughs> it's so pretty. And then you can tie it as many times as you want. This is a thin elastic, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Twice, as you can see, it broke. <laughs> All right, let's cut that. And there we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So now you want to go ahead and fold your paper again, give it that nice fold crease. And then push it in. And there you have it. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. I love it. I think that's the fastest I ever created. <laughs> the thing that takes the longest is just cutting down all the white paper. But again, if you do it the same way I did it, just add maybe like five papers, then cut down a strip, then cut it into three inches, three inches, three inches. You'll get all of those little sheets and then you save yourself some time. All right, and there you have it, you guys. That is how I make my little planner keychains. I love how cute it is. So you have the little elastic band. It looks nice and clean. Then you have the eyelet to protect the paper um, from the keychain itself. You have your little closing. Then the only thing I'm going to do is add in a little... Um, what do you call it? A brad um, to keep this nice and safe. You have your paper. 
you can put little quotes in here you can put like little I don't know little phone numbers whatever you want to put in here it's um, totally up to you and then you have your nice little velcro closure and that is my planner keychain I hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching as always if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one bye